Hey, this is Maria, Maria's Garden in Punta Gorda, Florida. How everybody's doing? Here in uh, our garden, we have a guest. Woo! A guest, his name is Ken. He's from Alabama. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll be Mobile, down. Alabama. Yeah. Mobile, Alabama, everybody. Anyway, he come to visit. Can you believe I'm so excited? He come to visit and uh, the way he pick up some plants. So he's going to make a video for you guys. I'm Yay, I'm going to show you what, it, this is the best place. Maria's unbelievable. Her garden, consignment shop, one of the best things I've seen. And only thing I was able to bring this young lady was, and I know people are asking, Rain barrels, plastic rain barrels, food grade rain barrels. Don't get the ones with the industrial solvents and oils and so forth because you can't use them. They're going to pollute the water that you try to use. These barrels right here that I was able to bring from Mobile had Coca-Cola concentrate in it. It is food grade. You take it off the plugs or you can cut the tops to make rain barrels it's rinse it out it's safe to drink out of safe to keep it for your your plants whatever you want to do or animals but one of the nice things is I was able to get things from Maria is I bought some I have got some of her high for tufas the one with the handles her nice hanging baskets the little metal rack the pedestal Unbelievable. She's got this all of assortment of containers in this Haifa Tufa. She does really a wonderful job. And I bought some plants and trees. I bought a Calamente, which is a form of a tangerine. It's an Asian component that they make salsas. Sometimes they'll make preserves and things out of it. It's not something you usually just take off the tree to eat. You use it in other processes and other foods. I bought two mangoes. I bought an Alfonso. Alfonso also times sometimes called the champagne because a lot of chefs like to use it and add it in salsas. It's very sweet. It doesn't have a real fibrous component to it when you chew it. And of course, I got the other standard, which is the Glen avocado. That's what you mainly see in the stores. They grow great in Florida. Then I've got a avocado tree. This is a cold hardy. So it'll last up in my uh, temperatures. And we get down to about 10, 15 degrees and this cold hardy avocado works wonderful. And my last one, it's an olive tree. Look how large that olive tree is. It should start producing for me next year. The size of each of these will produce, if not the end of this year, but by next year, every one of my plants are going to be giving me fruits. And I picked up a few of her babies. Yeah, the babies. Like this is the J plant. It's a beautiful J plant. Okay. You grow about four or five feet high. They like to be in pots. You can control the grow by clipping it in the winter time. It's very beautiful. Usually it takes a long, long time before they produce flowers. This one is the Sophilia, and this one is ready, ready, ready to have a flower. You see? Ready to have a flower. This uh, is very soft, like a bulbet, very nice. I love this plant. And uh, just the best thing to do with this plant over here is to put it in a plant stand or press tool because it tends to hang and this is where the flowers just come okay also he got what everybody's supposed to have a home a ala plant a ala plant his wife pick it up his wife of course maria is her name maria ross Maria Cross, in England, Maria Cross. Anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful aloe, and you can uh, digest this one, and use it for your skin, for your hair, and everything. This is one of the ones that I propagated last time in my video. Um, usually when you propagate this one, you clean it and cut the roots a little bit, not too much, and you just plant in this. And then, of course, 
dog ears, dog ears, they have a lot of this. And then he got one of these uh, J, the propagate J, look like the elephant bush, but it's, it's uh, irrigated, different colors. And this one, um, not gonna lie, I don't remember the name. And then he got other J over here, okay? J, the same problem as the J, J plant, okay? And also he got his cell, a little cactus, baby cactus, okay? And um, this is it. And I'm gonna ask him, I'm gonna ask him to explain what he's doing with that dome over there that he purchased and why he have that, that set up. You go for it, Ken. All right, so this is my propagation setup that I use for my desert roses. Got a little metal rack. Oh, yeah. All right, and I got this from the mega superstore, garden store. Maria's put it out, it'll be on her website. And what I have are three different components. I've got an extra large garden tray that has no holes. And then when we talk about putting the soil and stuff, this is what we put it in. This is the extra large seed tray. So when we cook and sterilize our soil. We put it in up to here. We set it inside. It locks here so it stands above the water so your seeds and the soil itself is not in water. So you got your soil. You get your plants, or in this case the seeds for the plants to be. I went and got wire cloth from the hardware store. You get it from the big box stores or wherever. It's one inch square. So you place this on top of your dirt. Now you've got the perfect spacing. You're supposed to space them one inch apart. So you can get the labeling spikes to stick there for your colors of the roses. You put one in, because your soil is about halfway in this container, and drop your little seeds in all over. Remove it. Cover it up with the dirt, and then you water it in. And that to control the humidity, because you want to put it in the shade, you can open and close the containers. Now the water that you rinse through here should get into the bottom. But what I'll do is I'll put water in the bottom of this container so it doesn't get to this edge. And then my water, I use a Biomax, which is a type of a probiotic enzyme, and it has two forms of antifungal, and it's all organic, and it keeps you from getting root rot, and helps your plants take off, and it helps them produce and enrich the nitrogen from the air. It all, it's much, much better this way. So I'll keep and propagate my desert roses in this growing compartment. All three of these pieces you can get on the mega... Green, greenhouse mega store. Greenhouse mega store. And when I put it, I will type it in the bottom of the, uh, the uh, distraction. That way you know where to go. And um, the way you can get it stuck. Can you get closer that way they can see what he means with uh, controlling the... Uh, you close the vents as you need to to keep the humidity in or keep it out. Okay. All right. And then he got this big tray over here that he ordered. I didn't know about this tray until he showed it to me. This tray is very handy in the garden. You can mix your soil. You can... Um, mix your hypotufa. Hypotufa. You can do so many things with this, uh, this, uh, this tray. You can put it any level you want it. And uh, this also come from the uh, greenhouse mega store. Very inexpensive one, nineteen dollars for this one. Nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars. And I just want to say, I really, really appreciate my friend here for coming. I oh, learned a you. lot. I learned a lot from him. We uh, he has a lot of knowledge about different plants. So we share information together. But it's he's a lot of help. Thank you for watching. And this is <laughs> as we see on your YouTube, Alabama. Hey, Alabama, hey, Bye-bye. Bye-bye.